This is comedy gold. Oh my goodness. So first things first, let me just address the second amendment before I get people saying, oh Lucas, you're against the second amendment. Blah, 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 blah. I'm for the second amendment. Having said that, I believe that idiots shouldn't have guns. Having said that, I think the majority of people on this planet uh, are idiots. Moving forward into the story, when it comes to Kyle Rittenhouse, you know, the beloved, uh, uh, you know, hero of the right, which is sad, but also is emblematic of what I'm gonna say in the, later on in the video. But Kyle Rittenhouse is coming out with a book. Now, the funny part about Kyle Rittenhouse coming out with the book is that the right is gonna buy it because they think it triggers the left. I just find that interesting. If your whole, your whole take is just a reactionary response to whether or not the left is gonna be triggered, then you're, that explains the Republican Party right now. <laughs> Pretty much, that explains the Republican Party to a T. Nevertheless, he's coming out with a book. I would argue he's coming out with a book because as he says, he is broke. That is correct. Turns out, being a kid, disobeying your parents and having no future or any type of skills leads to brokenness. Who would have thought? Kyle Rittenhouse really isn't the issue. The issue is what Kyle Rittenhouse represents. And I would argue Kyle, Rep Kyle Rittenhouse represents uh, the absolute hatred of black people from the right. That's what Kyle Rittenhouse represents. And I know you're gonna have people say, Lucas, why are you making it about race? It's about self-defense. It's not about uh, uh, Second Amendment. It's not about self-defense. It's about race. And I'm not making it racial. I have no power to do so. I'm just merely making an observation. Follow along, okay? When it comes to Kyle Rittenhouse, what did the right praise him as? As a hero, oh my God, self-defense. He's defending himself against the evil, nasty leftists. What you didn't hear about is all the horrible things that Kyle Rittenhouse has done in his past. Who did you hear about and their past when it comes to uh, being a victim? I would argue every black victim since the beginning of time. That's what I would argue. The right loves to get into black people's lives, all right, and go into their history, pry into their history, to weaponize it to justify any white person uh, in the scenario. And they did it with Amber Geiger, okay? They did it with Breonna Taylor. They did it with George Floyd. They done it with Elijah McClain. They done it with literally every black victim. They've done that. Tamir Rice, the list goes on. That's their specialty. If you don't want to say it's racial, well, then there has to be a standard. What that means is there can't be any hypocrisy, meaning that if you do this to the black victim, then this has to be done to the white victim, okay? Now, the problem is, is that that doesn't happen. And Kyle Rittenhouse is case in living proof of this. Kyle Rittenhouse is caught on camera being a woman beater. That's correct. They caught him on camera attacking a girl so much. He's such a hostile, angry animal, okay? Because I would argue that he comes from a lineage of evil. It just is what it is. Based off of his behavior, he definitely comes from a lineage of evil. He's attacking this girl nonstop to the point where other boys have to come in and pull him off of this girl. Now, what the racist right love to say, these, these saltines love to say, is that, oh, he was defending his sister. The video's out. There is no defense of a sister. The girl is not attacking his sister, but yet that's the argument. Now, when that argument gets BTFO'd, what do they rely on? Well, Lucas, this has nothing to do with his case. This has nothing to do with his case. What does this have to do with anything? It's still self-defense what Kyle Rittenhouse did. Mind you, I don't have an issue. If that's what you wanna argue, by all means. However, I would like that same empathy that same nuanced perspective, that same ability to separate the past from the present dilemma, I would like that to be applied to black people, to black victims. Now I know the right won't do this. I know white conservatives, a lot of them won't do this and that's because they hate black people. It's as simple as that. This isn't, there is, this isn't like a, a crazy controversial take. This is, these are the facts and I'm presenting them right in front of you. Now moving forward, we have a video of Kyle talking about, hey, how he wishes he had this AR-15. And he's saying this under the context of seeing people who he believes are shoplifters running out of the store. Prosecutors in Kenosha County say they have video of Kyle Rittenhouse 
from two weeks before he shot three people last summer. He's heard wishing he could shoot at people he believed were shoplifting. Now, obviously, this shows that he has a proclivity to violence. That's what that shows. He believes that he can solve all of his problems by simply just mowing down people. And someone like this should not have an AR-15. That would also go to intent as to why Kyle Rittenhouse went to where he went, mind you. And that wasn't to defend the property or anything like that. That was to mow down people. <laughs> Moving forward, you have a video like that showing that this kid is a ruthless, uh, savage individual. That's what I would say. That, 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 that speaks to his savageness and his lack of, uh, of, of, I don't know, his disdain for human life in some cases. Now, this wasn't allowed in court. However, I think it's very pertinent to the case and his overall character. Having brought that up, what do you think the Saltine said on the right? Lucas, this has nothing to do with the case, okay? All right? What happened to Kyle was self-defense and that's what will happen. This has nothing to do with anything, okay? I just, once again, would like for you to have that same, that same nuance, that same perspective, that same ability to be able to differentiate things that are pertinent to the case and things that are irrelevant to the case. And it seems that you haven't had that with any of the black victims that I've listed. That's what it seems. Now, you tell me, based off of what we've seen with Kyle Rittenhouse and how the right has handled that, and based off of what we've seen in other cases of any black case, you tell me, what, is it not racially charged? I would argue that a reasonable person with an IQ above room temperature would obviously say, yeah, there seems to be some racial overshadow in, in, in how they handle certain scenarios. One thing that we have, fatherlessness, right? That's what do they constantly say about black people, black kids, anytime, oh, it's, black, it's fatherlessness, it's fatherlessness, even though the data debunks that every single time. But yet they, they still hold on to these narratives, right? They still hold on to them because it makes them feel warm, nice and cuddly when they go home into the little, their little clan hoodies. Fatherlessness, Kyle Rittenhouse, father's not there. He's a divorce, uh, the mother is a divorcee, okay? She's a single mother. Now, what do you think they said when this is brought up? Lucas, this has nothing to do with the case. Lucas, this, this man was innocent in self-defense. Don't you find that interesting? I find that absolutely interesting. And to juxtapose this case, if you want to say, well, these other cases is not the same context. Fine. Let's bring up Philando Castile. The NRA was practically jerking off Kyle Rittenhouse, okay? So much that he paraded him around all of the conservative right, white networks. That's what they did. Now, Philando Castile, a black man. I know, I know, hear me out. Guess what happened with that? Do you want to know what the NRA said the reason was for not supporting Philando Castile? He had weed on him. I kid you not. Dana Loesch and her melted wax face said that's the reason why the NRA didn't support Philando Castile. He had weed on him. Gotcha. He had weed on him. So that little bit of weed overshadowed and superseded the entire miscarriage of justice regarding Philando Castile. That's what you're telling me. But literally everything that I mentioned about Kyle Rittenhouse, that was okay. At the end of the day, well, Kyle was, it was self-defense. So I ask you, you tell me why. Because the only conclusion that seems to be the obvious one is that it's racially motivated. It seems to be that they just don't like black people. And that's understandable given that, first off, they come from a lineage of evil, and secondly, the propaganda that they constantly consume. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, look, 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 it has nothing to do with race. It has to do with Second Amendment, okay? You sound like a liberal. I don't know what happened to you. Or if you have not believe, no, you sound like an anti-black racist. That's what you sound like, okay? And the only reason that I have to preface it with anti-black is because somehow you've made it to be a, a, a sentiment that anti-white racism exists, which it doesn't. So I think I'm just gonna call you racist, which pretty much is the same as an anti-black racist. It's just shorter, okay? There's only been one racism in this country that has been ubiquitous, okay, throughout it, and that is uh, regarding black people. So you're racist and 
it is what it is. Having said that, if you happen to disagree with this video, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on the screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Well, you know, if you happen to believe, oh, Lucas, you're on the wrong side of history, or if you happen to believe, eh, you're pretty spot on. These are nothing but a bunch of uh, racist saltines. Uh, and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, and until next time, guys, be amazing. He's heard wishing he could shoot at people he believed were shoplifting.